Hello and welcome to Fight Still Pro. Today's subject is back to school and in our case it's back to fight school. Now today I'm not going to go into too much detail about any one individual product. If you're wanting real detail, either have a look on the news section of our website. It's on the right hand side, click on news, that takes you to our blog. That's got a lot of information, in-depth information about products, a lot of detail. We get some top guys from around the UK looking at the products and giving their commentary. So we try and keep it as level and an unbiased opinion as possible. Uh, we are always a little bit biased at Fight Store Pro because we only actually stock products that we believe in. So anything that you see on our shelves, genuine, genuinely, we think it's good. Um, things that aren't on our website, we probably think it's not good. So, you know, you can always ask a question as to why something isn't there. Uh, there are some brands that we would like there. For example, A6 Wrestling, we think is top draw, but we're having problems getting a, finding anyone to supply us with, with that. But generally speaking, if it's on our shelves, it's good. Okay, so I'm going to launch straight in. We're going to talk about MMA, we're going to talk about boxing, we're going to talk about Muay Thai, we're going to talk about Jiu Jitsu. But I'm going to start with MMA shorts. Now this is Hayabusa, they've been making pretty much this pair of shorts since they started and it was one of the first brands we ever stocked at Fight Store Pro. You might have heard me say not so positive things about some of the Hayabusa MMA equipment, but the MMA apparel from Hayabusa is absolutely top draw. You can't fault it. Hayabusa shorts are strong, they've got this rubberized strip inside which helps stick to your waist. They're reinforced at the bottom, they're made of good quality material, everything's triple stitched. And they've got funky attractive designs and George St. Pierre used to wear them, so can't fault them. If you like MMA shorts, check out Hayabusa, check out Rev Gear, um, check out the Tenacity stuff, it's all good. Fuji makes some good stuff too. They're all good quality, depends on your style. So Hayabusa Shikara, Hayabusa Weld, all very good. So, quickly moving on. If you need a kimono, uh, if you're starting Jiu Jitsu, BJJ, you need a kimono. It, it's an essential part of equipment for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We use the collar a lot in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the sleeves. You must have a kimono if you're going to do Jiu Jitsu. Obviously, that doesn't apply to Nogi Jiu Jitsu. This is the number one seller at Fight Store Pro. This is the Fuji All Around Kimono. It's also the number one selling kimono in America against some pretty stiff competition. We recommend this to absolutely everybody. Hoyler Gracie doesn't wear one of these for nothing. He could choose any kimono in the world. He chooses this exact kimono. So if you want a good quality kimono, good price, they're about 80 pounds. There are cheap ones on the market, but simply put, if you were, at, you know, if you were offered an Audi A4 or a Ford Escort, which one would you take? I mean, there's only 15 pounds between this and a cheaper version. Take this. Okay, moving on. Rash guards. There's two things that you want from a rash guard. One is for it to fit, and the other one is for it not to disintegrate. Um, there are essentially two ways of making rash guards. A lot of companies are using sublimation print. That's what gives you all those crazy, funky designs. The one downside on sublimation print is the material is not as strong. I've picked out this one from Tenacity. Basically, it's got loads of panels in it. The material is really strong. The stitching is dead strong. It's going to last a long time. I think we've got these on offer. So, well worth it, the Tenacity rash guard. Also, worth looking out for. There's Fuji, there's Rev Gear, the Hayabusa ones are also good as mentioned with the shorts. So well worth a look, we've got these in the rash guard section underneath clothing on the right hand side of the menu. Take a look at these, they're great. Okay, into the more technical stuff. So, MMA gloves. I've just gone for sparring gloves today. You can look at the four ounce versions if you want, but if you're looking at four ounce gloves, I'm assuming that you've got a bit of knowledge because you've been training for a while, so you probably know what you're looking at. Uh, we reviewed these a while back, so check out the review I did with Pete Irving. Uh, these are my two picks. This is the Fairtex version, the FGV15. This is a great sparring glove for MMA. The leather's a little bit stiff. But they last a long time, they're attractive, you know, can't fault them. Check out the review. This is the one that Pete picked out as his pick. Um, it's more his department than mine. F 50 pounds just under on the website. This is the glove that everybody's using right now, the amateur MMA glove or 
uh, we call it the classic classic MMA sparring glove in Britain. It's called the amateur MMA glove in America. The leather's soft, the padding's good, good protection on the thumb. Check that one out, it's under the MMA glove section on the website. Boxing gloves. Okay, so if you want it for kids, this is the best choice. We've got the Rev Gear kids' gloves in six and eight ounce. Six, six ounces is going to be suitable for smaller kids, eight for slightly bigger ones. Once they start getting to 12, 13, you probably want to be looking at the adult glove section. These are made with a smaller hand mold specifically for children, but they're made to the same standards and quality of the adult gloves. They are made of synthetic materials, basically because kids are going to get through these and grow out of them fast. Whereas a leather glove, they cost more money to take, but they'll, they're going to last longer. We're thinking the kids are probably going to outgrow these before they outwear them. So that's the thinking with these. A $34.99 is a good price. This is our pick for kids gloves. There's also the matching shin guards, shorts and headgear. If you want to do it as a set, it's all under the kids section on the website. And lastly, we've got some boxing gloves here. We've got a deal this week on Fairtex. Uh, there's 10% off Fairtex. It's a very popular brand. I picked out the BGB one. It's a classic. It's not my favorite boxing glove, personally. It's for smaller guys, really, than I'm six foot three and I'm about 100 keys right now. Hopefully, I'm not. Hopefully, I'm 95 keys, but I haven't been on the scales for a while. So, this is a good glove, well made, good quality all around. They last for years and years and years. The Velcro tends to go before the glove ever does. My only criticism is the padding's a little bit soft and I tend to go through the knuckle with it. The wrist support short, but really good glove for tie boxing or for kickboxing. If you're looking for a boxer's glove, a more western boxer's glove, check out this. This is the S3 from Rev Gear. This became our best selling glove in a period of about three weeks. We had 120 sets land and they just flew off the shelves. It's easy to see why. Um, the next glove in its class is about 120, you know, 110 pounds. This is easily better than that glove and it's only 80 pounds. It's got great quality leather. Um, I did a separate review where I pick out four gloves, so go and check that out. But this is definitely our pick at the moment for a boxer's boxing glove. Also great for kickboxing, a lot of Muay Thai guys are kind of switching to this style of glove too. Definitely worth a look. If you're wanting a really traditional style Thai glove, check out Danger Equipment from Thailand. Um, did a, used to do a lot with Top King. They took some of the ideas from Top King, but I think this one's much more similar to the Twins Glove. We reviewed this with Mr. Juan Cervantes, who's ranked number one in the UK with Muay Thai in a previous video. Go and check that video out. This is great boxing glove. It's only £65. I think it's due a price rise though, so I'd be quick about that if you're wanting a set of good quality Thai boxers gloves. As ever, there's loads more stuff on the website www.fightstorepro.com If you've got any questions about equipment or you want some more advice, we have several ways of communication. You can email us, info at fightstorepro.com. We have the little message box at the bottom right side of the website. Uh, if it's manned, it's either me or Mike or Andy, one of the guys here. Everybody's got an extensive knowledge of the game. You can Phone us during office hours, 0191230330, or you know you can chance your arm and uh, send us a message on YouTube. Uh, I do eventually get through to them. Facebook as well. We're pretty active on Facebook. We usually get back to Facebook messages within a few hours. Um, it's not constantly manned, but it's uh, it's there, so you can check out Fight Store Pro Home. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.